Hello, my friends. Well, I'm not only going to do a blind pour of colors, which you seem to enjoy, I'm also going to do a blind pick of a technique. So these are my choices I've come up with, a ring ribbon, Dutch pour, swipe, cloud, flip cup, and a ribbon blowout. So I'm gonna pop those into this little cup Set this aside, pick my colors at random, and then I will select a technique. So oh, that should be fun. Here, I'm going to go with Grumbacher because I just really like these paints. They mix up well and uh, come in a beautiful variety of colors. So I'm going to pick um, six colors with the option of discarding one of them. So. Here we go. My eyes are closed, and as always, I'm going to set them aside uh, and not look at them until I've selected all of them, so you will see before me what I pick. So here we go. Number one, and I don't know which side I'm showing you. Number two. I do have some duplicates in here, too, so choose that, I'll choose a couple of the same, I'll have to go back and another one. Three. Four. Well, that was almost gone. I don't, I don't recall what that one is, but I must have liked it, but I don't have enough. What am I on? Five, I think. And one more. And number six. Okay. Setting these aside. Let's see what I got. Deep violet. Good, good. Cad orange. Uh, cat orange. Ooh, I love those together. Prussian blue. Mmm. Ooh, vermilion. It's very similar to the orange there. Magenta. And yellow. Cad yellow hue. Well, I've got the primaries. Actually, these are a pretty good selection of colors, but... Um, Depends on the on the technique I choose if they're gonna work. So set those aside. And come up with the technique. Here we go. Eyes are closed. Well, it doesn't matter if my eyes are closed, they're folded, <laughs> but I'm not looking. And I'm gonna pick this one. Oops, I picked two. <laughs> I'm gonna pick this one. What is it? Flip cup. Okay, wow. It's gonna be bright. I'm gonna use silicone and see what happens. Okay, and let me go ahead and mix up my colors appropriate for a flip cup. I'll put all the details down below and I shall return. Okay, I'm back. I have mixed my colors. I did end up using all six colors, but I combined, I made two custom mixes, so I only have five to work with here. Let's see, straight from the tube, I used processed magenta and deep violet and vermilion. And then I felt the cat orange was too similar in color to the vermilion, so I mixed yellow and cad orange together to come up with this kind of a gold color, goldenrod. And then I needed something darker. This was my darkest mix. These were all pretty similar in value. Um, that's my very lightest and I needed something darker so I mixed deep violet and Prussian blue to come up with a blue violet. And I like that. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to, as I said, uh, flip cup. I did add a 
couple drops of silicone to each color. That's about one drop per ounce. I have roughly two ounces of color in each cup. I'm going to fill two cups, one going from dark to light and then the other from light to dark. Flip them over and see what I get. So let's get to it. So I'm going to pour half of this in and I, I mix in my silicone really well. The cells grow in size as you tilt your canvas. So I'm going to add half of this in here. I will show you the consistency on one of the lighter colors. Again, stirring it in well. Maybe this one you can see. It's a little on the thick side. Um, I used a mix of glue, Liquitex, and water, and then I mixed it about one to one with the paints, and then added a bit of water to thin it out some. It was just too thick as it was. But I, as again, as I always do, I will detail down below exactly what I did. Recipe, ratios, and colors. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna, uh, I'll fill up the other one and then I'll come back. I, I don't know that that's, that I used half of the colors yet. Let me top them off. With a little more. Yeah. Got a lot more in that one. Let's see what else I can get in here. Dear husband is making a, a racket in the kitchen, but he's making a wonderful meal, so I can't complain. <laughs> Okay. There we go. I haven't done a flip cup in a while. I might as well do the first one the easy way, like this. And the second one, just quickly. Boom. All right. Uh, okay, these 
are actually some of my favorite colors together. But normally, um, with colors this vivid, I would have white to kind of temper things, but I didn't choose white. So <laughs> you work with what you get. And here we go. Let's flip that over. Look at that. Ooh-wee, that's pretty. And one, two, three. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Uh, oh. All right. I haven't used this recipe in a while. I hope I um, hope I didn't go too thin on it. I was a, with the addition of water. So first, I'm going to tilt a little bit. Then I'll hit it with a torch and finish covering the canvas. But I'm getting some nice little cells up so far already. I like that area. That's kind of pretty. All right, let's um, torch it. I'm more reactive on this side. Oh, there we go. I it's just difficult to see in the darker colors. Okay. I want to run this section off. Don't care for that. I'll probably lose that interesting shape there, but um, that's how it goes. Or maybe not. If I if I bring this down here, a lot of that is going to stretch, and I could probably keep some of it. Let me turn it this way towards you and run that off. And as I kind of go back and forth, tilt like this, it stretches and enlarges the cells. I don't use a lot of silicone in my fluid art, but once in a while it's quite fun to do. And these random things are... <laughs> Can be a challenge, but uh, so far I've lucked out with the color choices. This twist of picking the technique, um, I only put in techniques that I'm comfortable doing, but you know, you never know how they're going to work out, if they're going to work out. Okay, what have we got? Look at how I have some green there. The um, yellow and, and purple make kind of a green because my, my um, purple, I had a blue violet and blue and yellow of course make green. So that's what happened there, but I'm not opposed to that. I like this, I love this area here with a orangey warm tones come up through the purple. And actually, I like the composition. I'm, I'm not unhappy with it. Um, I do have a stripe in the middle, but it's, it's not straight, so that's good. I'm going to hit it with the torch again, and I think I may call it done.
make some little ones pop up in there and maybe over here we can get a little, a little more cell action. I like it. Not sure of the orientation. Um, But anyway, let me bring you in for a closer look. I like an assortment of color of uh, cell sizes. I like the sprinkling of little ones when you're done tilting. Just add a few more, and those are nicely shaped. A little odd over there. I got a little stretchy with the tilting, and possibly one of my colors was thinner than um, the others. But overall. For a random color pick and uh, technique, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. I hope you enjoyed that, my friends, and I'll see you next time.